Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian, and in today's video we'll be answering the question, what is a subgraph? If you're familiar with sets and subsets, then I think the concept of subgraphs should be fairly intuitive to you. And I encourage everyone to take a second to think yourself about what you think the definition of a subgraph is, keeping in mind the definition of a graph. So pause the video, take a moment to think about that, and let's get into the lesson. So we know, as we've said many times, that a graph is an ordered pair, we'll call the graph G. It's an ordered pair with a vertex set, we'll call V of G, and an edge set, we'll call E of G. And then we'll also define another graph, H, that has vertex set V of H, and edge set E of H. Then, H is a subgraph of G, written like this, using the same notation as we use for subsets, H is a subgraph of G if and only if, which I'll abbreviate with the if with two f's. So H is a subgraph of G if and only if the vertex set of H is a subset of the vertex set of G and the edge set of H is a subset of the edge set of G. And rather than using the comma there, I'll use the symbol that means and. So H is a subgraph of G if and only if the vertex set of H is a subset of the vertex set of G and the edge set of H is a subset of the edge set of G. So all of that just means that H is a subgraph of G if and only if everything in H is also in G. So if H has something in it that G doesn't, then H is not a subgraph of G, but if G has in it everything that is in H, then H is a subgraph of G. So now let's look at some graph diagrams. So here we've got three graphs, G, H, and J. And the question I'll present to you is which one of these two graphs, H or J, is a subgraph of the graph G? So all we have to do is look at the two graphs, H and J, and see which one has vertices and edges which are all in G, and which one has a vertex or an edge that isn't in G. Let's start off with H. So if we look at H, let's look at its vertex set first. In its vertex set, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And that is the same vertex set as G. G also has the vertices 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the vertex set of H is a subset of the vertex set of G. It happens to be equal to the vertex set of G, but that is still a subset by definition. So then we'll move on to the edges, and I'll highlight the edges in green. So we see that 1 and 2 are joined in H, they're also joined in G. 1 and 4 are joined in H, they're also joined in G. 2 and 4 are joined in H, they're also joined in G. 4 and 5 are joined in H, and we see that 4 and 5 are not joined in G. Thus, we can conclude that H is not a subgraph of G, because H contains an edge, the edge that joins 4 and 5, that is not in G. And that's all we need, is one thing in H that isn't in G to say that H is not a subgraph of G. So then, because one of these two graphs is a subgraph and one isn't, that leads us to conclude that J is a subgraph, but let's take a closer look at it to find out why. So again, we'll look at the vertex set, and J has vertices 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And we already know that all of those vertices are also in G, so, so far so good. And then again, I'll highlight in green, we'll look at the edges. 1 and 4 are joined in J, we see that those are also joined in G. 1 and 6 are joined in J, as they are also in G. 1 and 3 are joined in J, they're joined in G. 3 and 6 are joined in J, they're also joined in G. 6 and 5 are joined in J, they're also joined in G. And right there is enough now to conclude that H is a subgraph of G, because every vertex in J that we looked at was in G, and we saw that every edge in J is in G. Thus, J is a subgraph of G. Now, if we were to add, let's say, an extra vertex to G, let's say we add the vertex 7, that doesn't change anything, right? J is still a subgraph of G, because everything in J is still in G. So we can add stuff to G, and J will still be a subgraph of G. But if we were to take this vertex 7 and add it to J instead of G, 
this would mean that j is no longer a subgraph of g because the vertex 7 is not in g. Similarly, if we were to connect 4 and 5 in j, just like they were connected in h, then j would not be a subgraph of g. One other thing I'll mention is that by definition of a subgraph, every graph g is a subgraph of itself. And in particular, we can say that every graph is an improper subgraph of itself because it is equal to itself. But if we have a graph h that's a subgraph of g and we know that h is not equal to g, then we can say that h is a proper subgraph of g. This is the same sort of terminology that we use for proper and improper subsets. So if you've heard of that before, it's the same thing. So just one more time, a graph h is a subgraph of a graph g if every vertex and edge in h is also in g, which written more explicitly is like this. h is a subgraph of g if and only if the vertex set of h is a subset of the vertex set of g and the edge set of h is a subset of the edge set of g. And that's all there is to it. So I hope this video helped you understand what subgraphs are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can't wait for